Out of all the rappers and artists of today's age, Peggy is definitely one which keeps on surprising me the most. Whether that would be his incredible rapping flows and lyrics or the beats themselves. But one thing that is the most surprising to me is the way that Peggy uses samples in order to create a beat. According to Wikipedia, Peggy has been into music production for more over than 17 years now, and he started his music career off by coming across the process of sampling. Which does explain the reason why he's so goddamn good when it comes to sampling. JPEG Mafia started off as a producer making beats before he eventually became a rapper. The reason why he started rapping was because his beats were way too complex and way at sounding to sell. He also couldn't afford the absolute monstrosity of the prices that there is to mix and master a single song. Peggy's songs consist of some of the most random sample selections ever, going from smooth, relaxing sort of beats such as What Kind of Rapping Is This, where he samples two specific gospel type of songs, to bumpy, catchy beats such as Bald, where he samples the Ridge Racer 4 soundtrack, and then to just pure chaos, where he samples someone saying literally two goddamn letters and makes it into a whole damn song. His sampling techniques and just in general sampling style is absolutely Absolutely incredible. Sometimes Peggy gets a sample, chops each single half step of the sample, and compiles it into his own beat. Again, a good example of this would be his song Baby I'm Bleeding. And sometimes he just drags his sample into his DAW, pitches it down a bit, and that's literally the main part of the beat. A good example of the song that he made like this is actually Bald. The sample that Peggy used was from a 1998 game called Rich Razor 4. That song is the 17th track of the sound track called Move Me. And after being curious on a Tuesday evening and doing some intense research, by that I mean just simply dragging the sample into a fell, pitching it down to 100 cents, aka two notes down, I've got balls beat. Now, is this necessarily a bad thing to do? Of course not. Plus, Peggy obviously also had to add in the drums, the bass, the 808s, the percussion sounds, automation, EQ and other effects, and also his own vocals. I wanted to showcase these two songs in particular to show just how Peggy's style and sampling differs. And with songs like Thug Tears, I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea how he made that beat. I am guessing that he got some sort of percussion loop sample, chopped it up and messed around with the pitch and timing settings, and put the real melody on top of everything. But again, that is just a complete guess made by me. If anyone genuinely knows or has somewhat of an idea how he made that song, please leave a comment. Before ending this video, I want to quickly speak some real talk, you know, some facts. <laughs> the first time I heard of Peggy was when I was literally only listening to Dead Grips and I had Spotify recommend him. Calm down, big surprise, I know. And after hearing 1539 L Calvert and eventually Baby I'm Bleeding, I just truly fell in love with his work. Peggy is the true embodiment of letting things go without no filter, whether that would be in his music in general or in the shows that he performs. His creativity is beyond limits, whether that would be the beats that he actually makes or the actual samples that he chooses to work with. I mean, the man literally sampled a goddamn recording of a policeman getting shot and he just made that into a whole damn beat. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, you can literally look it up. The point is, Peggy is the young Sheldon of experimental hip-hop. He has his own specific, unique style in the genre, and he's in no way backing down on anything. And as of having only just recently gotten into the art of music production and sampling, I truly am curious about how Peggy goes and just makes a song. But nonetheless, I am genuinely happy to see that more and more people are recognizing his work and actually getting into not only his music, but also the style of experimental hip-hop as a whole. And with his constant different style of albums, I am more than likely sure that he will go on and expand his music to more and more people.